Hashtag how to run for poll march. Achievements matter. Spring 2022. Lecture 1, January 26th. Greek and Panhellenic geography. We wouldn't say that we were fortunate to speak English, Greek or even French, if that be the case. It is just the way it is. We repeat what we hear in hopes of making the world a better place without malice or forethought, and the poll marches at the vanguard in the fight to improve the world. He has no boundaries other than linguistic which where, when he can't understand how he might be of assistance, he couldn't. As humans are by nature social beings, social contracts are created where lands west of the Mississippi River were purchased from the sovereign of France. Withdrawing military French support would mean the eventual deterioration of French settlements unless they sought assistance from incoming American administration. We say that to compare administrations where Greek or English land is claimed and ruled by a small oligarchy or aristocracy surrounded by barbarians, or in the case of the Louisiana Purchase, Native Americans. With the language barrier widening because the emphasis on reading in ancient times and even now wasn't and isn't as prevalent for the common man, a prerequisite for running for poll march is literacy. Why, one may ask. Well, because they had to be able to read maps of the territory over which they were responsible. Ancient Greece was made up of numerous city-states just as there are many undergraduate and alumni chapters in our Panhellenic provinces which shape the geography of our unique Greek experience. Ancient Greece encompassed nine geographic regions, the Ionian Islands, Central Greece, Macedonia, the Peloponnese, the Aegean Islands, Thrace, Epirus, Thessaly and Crete. The land is a rather mountainous peninsula whose sphere controls islands in the Aegean, Ionian, and Mediterranean seas in southeastern Europe. Living in a city-state, polis, all bound in the shackles of socialism Grecians lived, worked, and prospered from Apollo March's suggestions. There are other roads to travel, but listening to others who have navigated roads previously, positive results are much more likely with foresight than without. A pole march has always been needed as no one knows which day will be their last, but valiant against the barbarian for the longevity of our way of life, he is insurance that they won't take over today. The rugged terrain with Mount Olympus as its highest peak, 2,918 meters, was just a backdrop, and Plato's characters who heightened the atmosphere were just extras on the stage where democracy was then a candle dimly lit. Whatever your backdrop will look like and wherever your scene's geography will be set remember ethics supersedes morals as the ground on which we stand is virtue. As we allow virtue to be the motivation of our actions, those valiant reappear proving chivalry is not dead where dignity and respect can be seen in the nucleus of our uniquely Greek community. The boundaries of Greek geography thus have widened as their story and people have become much more empirically received, and we find ourselves in a brave new world with the same principles. In this brave new world on the other side of the Atlantic the Panhellenic movement has breached the boundaries of Greece moved past Europe, Africa, and the ocean to somehow convince us that we need to share this information with you now. How can we talk about a place we have never been, and how can we pledge to support something that we don't know what it means? Well, like we said the main prerequisite to becoming full march is his literacy, so that he may read maps. Etymology teaches us that though most should know what Panhellenic means as we pan to the next screen and Hellenic from Menelaus' wife Helen who left him to be with Paris of Troy causing the Trojan War, 12th 13th century BCE, many don't. So, what of the geography do those inherit who pledge their loyalty to the clan we all know and love? Removed from the land of origin and separate from those biologically native to the land that produced the idea that, achievement matters, we are less so concerned with environment than atmosphere. Sure, we would prefer to have dialogue with the Parthenon in the background and discuss politics with the President of the United Nations, but relatively speaking any geographical setting and sober-minded individual should suffice. Panhellenic Greeks are much more enthusiastic and like thoroughbreds they can't wait to run, but to where if not to another who is sympathetic to our cause? Family can't be replaced, but we form bonds with others like family in the instance we need different, more specialized and perhaps even just additional moral support. The geography of today's Panhellenic body encompasses perhaps every major city in and throughout the United States and abroad, but what is administration without a body? See, there are more members than chairs, so if everyone participates the fire marshal might have to be called, because any building would be to capacity. Outside cities there is a true wilderness, where if not encountering wild animals, wild human beings may have their own customs but to us they are alien and given the name barbarian. Inactive members create a barrier between barbarians and administration so that our secrets will remain safe, while the active conform. Ancient Greece was made up of numerous city-states just as there are many undergraduate and alumni chapters in Panhellenic provinces which shape the geography of our Greek experience. The mental war being waged in favor of democracy in Plato's Republic is being defended on a new landscape with a different geography. The same principles where virtue is seen as achievement protect and defend our dignity. We can't afford to lose one member, chapter, or city-state to barbarians. The landscape has changed. We can go to the Parthenon in Nashville only three hours away, or we can find brothers as familiar with our new geography feeling at home to discuss the politics of the day. They say beauty is skin deep while ugly is to the bone, but with the chapters in provinces and 12 provinces across the nation the congregation gravitates toward the pole march who trains others for lead.